So hey there guys and welcome to another Brickton Bros video. My name is Phil and I'm Liam and today we're going to be unboxing <laughs> Minecraft Lego. Oof. Oof. You've been looking forward <laughs> to this one, haven't you? Yeah. You're a bit you're a bit of a Lego Minecraft fan, I think. Well, this is my first box to be fair. <laughs> but you're <laughs> But you're like, you've been a fan of like, a, an observant fan. Observant fan. Well, yes, I've been watching the uh, sort of interesting pieces that have been coming out because Minecraft and Lego, it's a no brainer. Mm. You've got blocks, you've got pieces, the whole world revolves around blocks. So it was inevitable if Lego was going to go down the route of, you know, the Minecraft. Uh, Lego sets. Oh, they had to. It's it's a huge, huge game, globally, mm. worldwide, both for kids and adults. Still and play it. Same here. Yeah. Uh, on the odd occasion when I just want to relax. There's just something nice about the game where you can just disappear mm. and just be on survival mode and yeah, yeah, just inhabit the world. It's and nice. And now you can do it in real life with Lego. <laughs> Perfect. Right, so we shall um, obviously the sit. Uh, I'm not sure if this particular one is still available at the time of this video. Uh, I'll link it in the description below if I can find it. Otherwise, you're going to have to look at other sites uh, like eBay and Bricklinks to find anybody selling this. Uh, but I picked this up in Sainsbury's, mm -hmm. not sponsored. Um, and yeah, they seem to have it. And it was only, I'll put the, the price on the screen. In the description for you guys to check out. So let's get into it. Cool. Yeah. It's all yours. Go for it. Okay. All right. So we get in two bags, and we've got a manual. So this is going to be a fairly quick build. Um, it shouldn't take us too long. Hmm. Yeah, it should. It should be quite good. I ripped that box like crazy. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, that won't that won't be my OCD. <laughs> so there we are. So we've got our sorting. So if we want to open up the bags and we'll sort. So essentially, what we're building here is just a typical day in the life of Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. So the explosion it, it, TNT. Yeah, you're getting it. This is this isn't even. I would say this does not look like early form. In, in the game because it looks like you've got a gold sword. Oh yeah. You know? You've got a gold sword, you've got TNT which is very hard to find. Mm. Well, very hard to make, I think. If I remember correctly, you need gunpowder and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you've got to go creeper hunting. Isn't it, isn't it literally redstone and gunpowder? Yeah, but redstone's very hard to find. Because you've got to go and dig in mines to find it. Uh, I mean... Okay. We're going off topic well, here. <laughs> well, the seeds in Minecraft that I seem to always get, I can never find redstone. I have to go really deep. Oh into yeah, like normally, mine. normally you have to yeah. go at least I think level eight or Until something. So you start like. hitting lava, and then mm. when you hit lava, you're like, Ooh, there must be redstone around right here. Yeah. And there's always little blocks of it. Um. So you, so it's telling us to build figurines first. So we're going to follow the rules because apparently I don't follow rules. And today <laughs> is my. <laughs> I build everything backwards. Um, so, do you want to take Steve or Skeleton? Uh, I don't do you mind. You, you choose. All right, I'll take the Skeleton. I was going to say, you take the Skeleton because you've been wanting to build this and it's your opening one. Yeah, so no, you I don't it. mind. You ah, give me a hand as well. Let's just do Steve. So I'll, I'll do teamwork. Steve. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Skeleton looks far more interesting to build together. I remember when a skeleton used to be a piece of cake for Lego. It would be more or less a mini fig. But is this modeled on the same same style or is it slightly different? Because I think Lego had a because you used to have like skeleton pirates and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh it is so it actually it is pretty much the same looking at them. Yeah. It's exactly the same, it's just the head that's different because Minecraft block head. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. Of course, almost every skeleton in the game has a. Uh, well, every skeleton has a bow and arrow, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Have you ever come across one that's riding a spider? Yes, I've seen that. That was in the upgrade, I think. There we go. So bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. 
Fauna. Quite fun here. I like how they get in the pixelation in some of the pieces and that. Yeah, the jagged edges to mm. make it look like the you know the graphics, which is good. So here we go. Stand up. But he hasn't been put in the fire yet, so we'll see. Mm. Uh, so next we're gonna build. Oh, we've got another thing. We've got a wolf. By the looks yeah. of it. You and Yank got a wolf, Sorry. and it looks like you also get a fox as well. That's pretty cool. I like that. So, te could you technically say you get four figures in this? Well, it doesn't really fall under the figurine category, technically, mm. because you're building it out of the pieces that are not classically figurine pieces. Mm. So, you're actually making it. But. I think, yeah, I guess, I guess you could you could say it's a... It definitely gives it that. I'm already thinking about its playability with what you get in this. Mm. So you get these two figures here, the skeleton and Steve. Super Steve. <laughs> we get a wolf. And we're going to get a fox as well. So you can already play out a kind of scene. Pretty much. So the kids are going to love this one. Mm. Especially if it's a little area, a little add-on add to whatever other um, Minecraft sets you might have, um, or it's even just as good as a starter set as well. I'd say just from looking at the pictures, we'll there definitely we see for sure. But Wolf looks pretty cool, actually. I gotta say, yeah. and even with the because you know when uh, if it gets hurt by the skeleton, tail goes down. Yeah, and then you can just lift it up when you fed it. I've yeah. never played Minecraft, I'm just guessing here. So right now we're building a fox. Now, um, I have yet to come across the foxes in the latest really? update. Really? Yeah. You've I never not, come across a fox? I've never come across, I've come across an ocelot, mm -hmm. which is close to the fox. Yeah. Uh, but I haven't played the slightly newer version. I need to update mine, I think. You definitely do, because and it'll give me the that. most recent version today is the 1.18. For those that would be interested <laughs> and you can go deeper than zero <laughs> this has become like a minecraft review <laughs> yeah i know it's really than the Lego. yeah hashtag not i mean <laughs> hashtag not sponsored i mean but it's 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 the game relevant yeah. to the set because it's lego minecraft but it's something we both have experience in as well right? yes oh that's interesting that's cool so this is the fox and foxes generally have large tails, so how do you think they're going to do the tail? They're using a piece like this, and one of these pieces. Let me just place that on that, and then it's a white piece mm. on there. And there you do. That, that is, is very cool. Tail. That is that is so close to how it looks as well in game. That is very very funky. Mm. Very funky. Very funky piece. Right? Yeah. I like that. Very streamlined as well. Yeah. I like that. Because that looks almost identical to how it looks on the on the game. Yeah. Because the ocelot is what I'm guessing they use the same kind of I design. I would say so, definitely, yeah. Because yeah. they kind of just pop around like that. But the, the legs don't kind of move. It's kind of like this weird thing. They just oh, you see, with the fox, they just they don't they do just the hopping. Around. They just zip around. Zip around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Main thing, yeah. How so did I'm you find building those, by the way? Quite quick, easy. The only thing I kind of, I kind of like the, the heads. Now the heads are really built-in pieces, so they've obviously, you know, done this custom, mm. obviously. But the, the heads are literally like the wolf head is just, oh, it's a custom piece. Oh, okay. So that's quite that's nice. That's quite nice and unusual. And the same with the ocelot, but I, I don't think. I'm oh, sorry, the fox. <laughs> you can call it ocelot now. It's the same thing, it's just the uh, piece as yeah. it is. Just like that. Interesting. Yeah. It's a um, unique choice, but yeah, given the, the form factor of what they're going for, mm. that makes perfect sense to do it that way. And then they have, and the nice thing you can put that on anything, same with the, the skeleton head. Absolutely. Right. So look at this one. So what am I building here? 
From the looks of the box, it looks like. Oh wow! Hang on a minute. Is there like a trigger in this? <laughs> there's a trigger. It's like there's a whole mechanism that is telling there you to build. There is an actual trigger in this, and it. I swear. This good. is not going to be the only video that this has happened, but we, <laughs> we look at the box and we look at it and it's like, yeah, that's really good, and we don't notice until we're actually building it, building it that we really realise, hold on a minute, There's I've just realised on the picture of the box that we've looked at many times, that there's something going on here. <laughs> it's another Easter egg. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, I mean, it isn't, it's, it's right there, so it's yeah. not really... It's, it's, well, if you show, show the yeah, camera, yeah. have a look at that. Right so right here, right here. <laughs> you know, and it's, I don't know. It's, it's a cleverly hidden one. So that mechanism here is one of these green jobbies. I'll Good. tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing these little bits. Yeah. So I can see what's coming up. I'm gonna prepare these little flowers. Think. Oh, they're supposed to be the grass that you take apart that turns into that sometimes drops seeds. To be honest, it's pr probably quite good that we know of Minecraft a little bit so we can explain what's good. <laughs> so this looks like it sits that way. So I'm going to turn this around for a second so I can see what I'm doing. This is building backwards but building that way. Mm. Not building backwards. Mm. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. You can mold as I'm quite the... loud. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> and then now we've got these guys. Yeah. Now these pieces, I have not seen these ones in a while. Yeah, they're like two of these types put together. Yeah. Hmm. What's going on here? Have you, um... I built this wrong. Oh my god. Have I built it wrong? No. I have. Haven't I? Oh, crap. <laughs> right, so we're going to cut the video for all the pieces. So, all in all, it's quite a good starting point for anybody who's, you know, looking to buy sort of the Minecraft Lego sets. And then mm. the back of the book, they've got some more sets that I haven't actually seen because you know, I think we actually have one of those sets you bought one haven't you have I <laughs> have you bought have you I don't, I don't know if I have not one. bought one have no. you not bought that one okay. no I All think right. I've, been, I've got my eye on one okay but yeah there's there's a few other sets at the back there that you could probably look into getting in on the channel but as a starting point for Minecraft a uh, fairly simple build, fun, quite accurate to the brand of, you know, uh, they created for Minecraft. Um, the pieces look really good. Um, I like this functionality that I might just play with that quickly, but it pops it out. Mm. So I'm guessing that's your trapdoor and uh, part of the TNT, I guess. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oops. Where it goes? Uh, I mean, oh, it's here. Oh. You've also got to show the skeleton in the fire. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put Mr. Skeleton in the fire. <laughs> cool. So, build rating. Build rating. I give that um, ease of build. Let's say ease, ease of build. build. Well, ease of build. I give that six. Oh, sorry. This is out of five, isn't it? So ease of build. I give that about a. Uh, five out of five. Okay, so nice and easy, yeah. nice straightforward with all the instructions and everything like that. Pretty much. Playability? Um, I like that function. I like that, um, as you pointed out, the skeleton in the fire. Mm. As you can see, he's standing in the middle of the fire, which I thought was great because that's exactly how they kind of die in the game when they go into the sunlight or you attack them uh, with, I don't know, a fire arrow or something, or they go into the lava and they burn or well, something happens to them. It's pretty accurate with the, even the fire detail mm. of like you know, that pixelated kind of fire movement. It's done quite well to represent that. 
So this will be a fun piece to kind of uh, take photos of or you want to show like on social media or stuff like that. Playability, I like the trapdoor. I think that's fun. I mean, it's very simple and basic. Mm -hmm. So you just pop it open like that. Um, I'm not sure the uh, reason behind that particular trapdoor. I'm looking at book. I have a feeling that it is to do with box. the TNT. I think it's to do with the TNT. It's just it? a shame that they couldn't kind of try and do something to involve the TNT as well, rather than yeah. not being stuck. But because the TNT is the one that blows up. Yeah. Yeah. But that being said, I mean it's it's a small kind of quick. Um, Little set that you can, you know, pop somewhere and it's nice maybe that play. just depicts the TNT exploding, and then when you pop that, you take the TNT away, and that is the blocks that have vanished. Ah, or you have, have been you destroyed. Have yeah, yeah. Go with it. Affordability. So, affordability was quite cheap. Uh, let me just double check the price. Yeah. So roughly, this was about nine, ten quid. If I'm being honest, uh, I can't exactly remember the exact price, but I'll link the description. Uh, link it in the description below where you can find this one as I mentioned the uh, Price of it. It's fairly good. I mean, okay. It's a little a little slightly overpriced for what it is. Do you think so? Well, I'll, I'll give you two reasons one uh, For about ten pounds you would expect a bit more fun out of it Maybe me being an adult, but there is a good reason for that price point. You've got first of all Minecraft so the name itself. The name itself. Mm -hmm. And this is original Lego and Mojang sort of uh, partnership. So mm -hmm. it's an original Lego uh, you know, set. So you're getting the minifigs with this as well. Uh, you've got Steve, you've got the skeleton, you've got the fox, and you also get the wolf. So for a price point of view, um, worth it. Yeah. To some extent. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree. Not just to some extent. I think it's way more worthwhile. Ten pounds, perfect. Many figures today are around three to three pound fifty in the UK. And you think about the poly bags or just getting them separately and stuff in stores. Um, you get the fox and the wolf on top of that, and you get a little play area of if you like with an action move mode as well and that action mode action <laughs> you know what i mean mm -hmm. um you know so you've got an added feature um action scene yeah so i think it's it might not look like much but on the grand scheme of things think to yourself as a seven year old plus who loves minecraft gets this little set on the side i think there's a lot of playability and value out of that yeah from four things that you can play around with so and not only that you can combine it with the other sets that you get from lego so this could be a starting point mm. this could be your introduction into lego minecraft as it is so, for us, as it is for us. <laughs> so i wasn't 100 percent sure that's why i got the smaller box to kind of see if i'll be mm. interested um yeah so what do you rate it Overall, oh, I'd say what do you rate it? First of all, you uh, you done the majority of the build. I give it, um, I actually give it a four out of five again. Yeah. I sorry, I, I actually give it a four out of five. I agree. I I think I'm with you on that. It's a good starter point, and again, it's a good additional feature for any other sets you may have already have. Yeah. And it has actually intrigued me into getting more. More. <laughs> yeah, to just make this grand Minecraft scenery <laughs> for the world to see <laughs> today. Well, the idea is to have some shelves and other things so we can oh, get yeah. behind us at some stage. So you'll probably see these on the shelf later on in our next couple of videos. Mm. Hopefully we'll get some shelves mm. delivered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. So um, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like us. Do drop us a like, subscribe and share and do your worst on that comment section. Also, as always, if there's a um, particular set you want us to build or want to see on the channel, let us know in the comments below. We'll see if we can do that. Until next time, Brickton Bros out. <laughs>